praise comes to you or uh, ten people talk about you know everything done by her everything is done by him and you get that report people are praising you so if one gets happy in that way it is actually gratification of the ego you are much more than the ego you are way beyond the ego you have the capacity to be at peace even by looking at a rainbow by seeing some poor children whom without giving your name you fed let us say you told somebody go and feed them and you are looking at them from a distance all of them are happy to get so much food hungry for children from a distance you see and without your name coming there you will feel happy that itself shows that really you are much more than this i me and my which either others are talking about or you are conceiving the conceived sense of i is a drop in the bucket your true i is vaster vedanta says infinitely vast that has a matter that's a matter for you to realize it is said when more and more you are able to do things without insisting or without making an issue of what you get keep some good result in mind but take out that personal gratification my name my image etc this of course doesn't talk about necessities all of us have certain necessities spirituality is never against our true necessities it is only those extra you know uh, frills that the ego adds the ego for an ounce of what we really need brings in tons of what we don't need so that is look that is to be intelligently kept away then chitta shodakam our mind becomes purer and that paves the way mukti sadakam mukti is not through karma but this niswartha karma nishkama karma which is karma yoga let me clarify in a sentence karma yoga is not about doing a lot of work going from one end of the town to the other seven times in a day you know doesn't make you a karma yogi though you and i sometimes uh, in an incorrect language say you know my uncle he is a great karma yogi why oh how much work he does the reference is to quantity actually to be precise quantity doesn't make anybody karma yogi it is the attitude and quality another uncle or another aunt might be doing half as much quantity wise but there is always a touch of love and care that is a karma yogi but this first uncle who does a lot of work for lot of people suppose has that quality he does lot for lot of people without expecting personal gratification then yeah you may call him karma yogi not merely by the quantity so mukti sadakam when there is a quality change attitudinal change then you are set for the transcendental insight a certain insight dawns upon you oh my i am not this personality at all that is atmajnana in this way to offer all our actions and their results even the fact that i am doing is thanks to god if god wills otherwise i won't be able to even lift my hand to stay that is karma arpana then phala arpana i got a promotion i got a raise in my earnings offer it to god this is god's will some other time there was a pay cut it is his will with understanding that is ishwar arpana karma and karma phala are to be offered to ishwara it's a bhavana it's an, it's an understanding then chitta shodakam mukti sadakam the essential element or component of karma yoga is thus covered tomorrow we will take the next six verses which give us a very nice comprehensive picture of 
the whole science of bhakti yoga the way of devotion om shanti 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 hari om shri guru bhyo namaha hari om any announcement tomorrow same time right 7 after aarti